Uh, the word homework just came to me is a Christ Father combo. When we've been solving Christ Father combos and Jesus Father combos, amazing. But uh, do your homework. Well, this is a Christ Father combo. The word work, of course, goes to Father. And we know that fathers do work. And, uh, and then the word home goes to uh, Christ. Okay. And uh, put the two together. It makes beautiful threes. In fact, it equals double love equals worship. Okay. So, very, very nice. Um, in fact, fascinatingly, um, there's another gem for you, Christ, Father, and worship. But um, the word home goes to Christ. Okay. Um, NH is an H. And M differs by 6 here. T, this is very obvious. Here's the plus 1. Here's the plus 2. It's equal. Here's the letters that divide by 3. The T is a plus 2 right there. And then work goes to father. We've solved that a million times. Homework is a Christ father uh, combo. And what's amazing to me when you do put Christ father together is you get love, love, half love. So that's another bonus confirmation for you. Homework is love plus love. Christ plus father is love plus love plus half a love. Okay. So do your homework because you're always learning about God and you're exercising your brain, which God wants and is healthy for your brain to stay active and, you know, solving problems, writing stuff. I mean, it's, it's all exercise of the brain, which is very pleasurable. Okay. It's very healthy for you and all that good stuff. Um, so beautiful. This differs by 12. This S differs by six. And then this CT differs from this E by triple six. So obvious how Christ takes the word home. Okay. You always shoot, shoot for sixes and H equals an H. Then the RI both divide by three. Okay, matching the O there, and they differ by exactly 12, double six. And then this S differs from the M by six perfectly. And then this T and this E are both plus two. You can say they differ by 15, or, and, or you can tidally complete the equivalence by saying the CT differs from the E by triple six, and now all your offsets are in sixes nicely between Christ and the word home. And I've done father and the word work before, and uh, very cool. So there's there's my... Uh, look at the word homework as a Christ Father combo. Very nice. Um, now, I'm just quickly, yeah, you can find the double love easily in homework. Uh, you can do it a couple ways, a KM plus a double O. You can do the same thing in Father. Cool, homework solved, first pass. Um, for homework, you know, you know this is irresistible. <laughs> For homework class, I would like you to find all instances of the names of the Trinity in the letters homework. There's Father, there's Son, there's Jesus, there's Christ, but it's it's the letter for letter design that you need to be aware of. And then there's Holy Ghost as well. Okay, and there's love. Okay. In fact, there's perfectly all four of the mutually oh my goodness, not even on camera. There's four of all the mutually exclusive loves in homework. Four there that match the four here. This one goes with this one, this one goes with this one, this one goes with that one, this one goes with that one. There you go. So, um, there you go. Find all names of the Trinity in the word homework. Father, Son, Jesus, Christ, Holy Ghost. And it did not disappoint. But this is the most glaring thing that jumps out at me. That parallelism. Very, very glaring, okay? Plus twos in father exceed plus ones by two in number, just like the word work, just like the word water, just like the word honey. Work equals water equals honey and a host of others. Christ, again, two plus two. Christ is fun to say because you get one plus one, two plus twos, and the rest letters divide by three, just like the word home. And the, the letter for letter uh, analysis is glaring. So there you go. Homework is a Christ-father combo.